Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever or wherever you are, my friends. My name is Alex, and I'm here to show you how to make a score system in GDevelop 5. Let's jump right into it. All right, so once you have a blank project, all you need to do to get started on this is to create a score variable first. Now, you could do this on a scene variable by going to scene properties and then edit the scene variables, but for this one, we're going to do it as a global variable. We're going to add a new variable. It's going to be a number variable, and we're just going to call it score. Awesome. The next thing we need to do is add an enemy object to our game. We're going to go add a new object, go to the asset store, and let's type red. Huh. This is perfect. We're going to get the Reddit icon as our enemy because, you know, those dirty Redditors. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry if you use Reddit. I'm just joking. Relax. Anyways. All right. So we're going to go into the behavior of our Reddit character, and we're actually going to rename Reddit to enemy for simplicity. Going to go into the behavior, add a behavior, and we're going to add the health behavior. Now it starts with 100 health and 100 max health, so it means it's fully healed or full life when we create it, but we only want one for now. And we want to make sure... Um, that in this case we just set the max health to the starting health because that is the current total amount and we'll hit apply now what we need to do is add a couple of these enemies to our game scene and we're going to add a um we actually need to add a new layer so we're going to go in here and click new layer and we're going to name this new layer ui for user interface now we need to add a new object, and this time we're going to create our own from scratch. So we're going to click New Object from Scratch. We're going to get a text object, and we're going to call this Score Text. You can name it whatever you want, but um, instead of text here in the display, I'm just going to write, This is my score, with a little exclamation point. And we're going to add that to our game. And once we do add that object, we want to click on it. And we'll see that it's on the base layer over here in the instance settings. We want to change it over to UI. And once we've done that, we're almost done. We get to do the, 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 the fun part, which is going into the events. Um, yours will be blank, but I use the same workspace for all of my tutorials, so you'll see some extra stuff here. But I'll just say add a new event. And I've already done that. We're going to click on that and type mouse. And we're going to be looking for mouse uh, pressed or touch held. You can also do mouse release depending on when you want it to work. We're actually going to do mouse release for convenience sake. We're going to click left click on the primary. We want the mouse button is left. And we want to add one more condition. We want to check the enemy and we're going to type mouse again. And if the cursor or touch is on an object and we're going to say yes. So if the mouse button is released and the cursor touches on the enemy, what do we want to do? We want the enemy to to let's say uh we're going to apply damage to an object we're going to apply one point of damage shields and armor don't count so we're going to say no there and now that means when one point of damage is dealt to our enemy um we already know that with one life it'll kill them so we need another event we're going to add one in underneath it make sure that you do it not as a child node but instead uh just underneath it uh, and then what we need to do is check if the enemy is dead. And we can do that down here by just clicking on the enemy and going to health is dead. So if the enemy is dead, what do we want to do? We want to delete the enemy. Delete it. And we're going to go to variable in the action. Change a variable. Change the global number variable of score. And we're going to add one to that score. We're going to press OK. Now we're going to go back into our game scene. And right here, this won't change until we do something else. So what I want to do is add one more. And again, right underneath it. And it's going to have no condition. Instead, it's going to be an always running action. And what we're going to say is that the score text, the actual text of that score, is equal to, and this is, gets a little interesting, we have to call that variable, that global variable. And how we do that is simply by typing its name. We did score. And right here we can see global number variable of score. And that's what it's going to equal. 
So we can just type that in. However, because that is the global variable, it'll only show up with a number. We want it to be a little bit fancier than that. And so how we do that is we add a text quote, and inside of that text we type score, colon, space. And so what that'll do is that'll register that space as an extra key, gives us a little bit of organization, and then after that we're going to do space plus space. And so here it's pulling the score from that global variable of score, and it's writing the score down. We'll press OK. Now let's review this in real time. Press preview, and we'll see that our score is zero, our score is one, two, three, and four. Well, that's all I have for you. Hopefully you learned something in this video, and thanks for stopping by. Remember, happy game making, and I'll see you in the next video.